Welcome to Quantum's online training videos. In this video, we review basic operation of Quantum's ARC3001 Mark II stabilizer controller, which is specifically designed for both underway and zero-speed stabilizer operations. We will go step-by-step step through the functions available on the ARC3001 controller. To turn on the controller, simply press and hold the I button until it beeps. The control will enter a self-test sequence, after which the stabilizer system is activated. Before starting up the stabilizer system, it is a good idea, for safety reasons, to check that the stabilizer hydraulic system is not undergoing maintenance and that the vessel's location and general conditions are appropriate for stabilizer activity. Once powered up, the controller illuminates and indicators provide system feedback to the operator. In the middle of the control, the word signal is positioned between two lights, which indicate the roll angle signal received from the roll sensor. A roll to port will illuminate the left side light, a roll to starboard will illuminate the right side light. The fin movement and position can be visually assessed via the fin position LED indicators on the left and right extremes of the ARC control face. The lights indicate the position of the port side fin on the left and the starboard side fin on the right. The fin's center position is indicated by the green middle light. The brightness of all of these lights and backlit buttons can be altered using the panel illumination button, which depicts an image of a light bulb. Illumination can be adjusted in five steps. The ARC3001 is able to display several of the hydraulic system alarms. When the alarm is triggered, a symbol for the alarm will illuminate, such as temperature bulb, signaling high oil temperature in the oil reservoir, fluid vessel, indicating low oil level in the oil reservoir, and a filter element, signaling the pressure filter element is clogged and operating in the bypass condition. When one of these three alarms is triggered, a buzzer will be audible. To silence the alarm buzzer, press the alarm silence button. To clear the alarm, the alarm condition must be corrected. Some vessels choose to have these alarms displayed at a central alarm monitoring system instead of or in addition to display on the ARC control. Of course, silencing an alarm at the ARC has no effect on alarm indication at the vessel's monitoring system. The ARC3001 is typically installed on the bridge for easy access. Quantum offers a remote control which allows limited system operation from other locations. The master button indicates the connection status between the ARC3001 control and any remote controls installed on the vessel. This button will blink and an alarm will sound if a connection to a remote control unit is broken. The forced roll button, when used in conjunction with other buttons on the control, will cause the vessel to actively roll. Because of the damage that can be done on board during a forced roll of the vessel, use of this function is limited to quantum personnel. When first started, the ARC3001 will automatically enter the center mode. In the center mode, hydraulic pressure is used to actively keep the stabilizers in their center or non-stabilizing position. In order to activate the stabilizers so that the fins begin to move to counteract roll motions, it is necessary to engage one of the underway or zero speed modes on the control. So long as the vessel is underway, the two underway modes, auto and manual, are available. To engage the stabilizers in auto, simply press the auto button. In the auto mode, the control reads the roll position and velocity from the roll sensor and together with recent roll history, determines the optimal fin activity to reduce vessel roll. Fin activity will be evident by the fin position LED indicators. For most situations, the auto mode will yield the best performance. Since there's no user interaction required to adjust any system settings in the auto mode, it also presents the least burden for the operator. In certain conditions, the auto mode may not interpret the vessel operating conditions appropriately, and the operator may feel that better performance is possible. The manual mode, engaged by pressing the manual button, enables the user to optimize stabilizer performance by adjusting control settings via three of the four rotary knobs on the upper portion of the control. With these three knobs, an operator can fine-tune the control settings for the conditions based on his feel of the roll motions on board. However, when conditions change, the operator will need to readjust accordingly. Let's start with list control. An operator can use the stabilizer fins to correct for a vessel's list in manual mode by using the list control knob. With this knob turned fully counterclockwise, the stabilizer system will not correct vessel list. 
As the knob is turned clockwise, the stabilizer fin's center position will offset gradually to compensate for vessel list. The degree and direction of fin offset is calculated by the controller based on the heel detected by the roll sensor. At fully clockwise, the stabilizer fin's center position is offset as far as functionally practical, offering maximum list compensation. Depending on the degree of list, this setting may not bring the fussel fully upright. Since use of the list control feature offsets the fins, vessel drag will increase, which may affect vessel speed and will reduce fuel efficiency. For this reason, use of list control is recommended for short voyages where increased fuel consumption can be tolerated. For longer voyages, it is more economical to correct vessel list by adjusting the vessel's loading condition. The top left knob is the fin angle deflection knob, which is used to control the overall sensitivity of the stabilizer system. Turning this knob fully counterclockwise minimizes the allowed fin deflection. As the knob is turned clockwise, more and more fin deflection is allowed until, at fully clockwise, the stabilizer fins are allowed to deflect freely as required to counter roll. Since fin deflection is required to provide roll reduction underway, if the stabilizer performance is less than desired, try turning the fin angle deflection setting up by turning the knob further clockwise until desired performance is achieved. However, too much fin response can overcompensate, forcing the vessel to roll back and forth at small angles. When this happens, the vessel roll will feel unnatural and jittery. To correct, try turning the fin angle deflection setting down by turning the knob counterclockwise until the unnatural motions cease. The bottom right knob is the beam follow control. This setting allows a user to adjust the stabilizer actuator timing for changing sea conditions. When a vessel is in seas with period of encounter close to the vessel's natural roll period, such as often occurs in beam seas, a heavier weighting of the roll velocity from the roll sensor will yield better stabilizer performance. In these cases, the beam follow knob is to be turned counterclockwise towards beam. When the vessel is in seas with frequencies of encounter much longer than the vessel's natural roll period, typical in stern quartering or following seas, a heavier weighting of roll angle from the roll sensor will yield better stabilizer performance. In these cases, turn the beam follow knob clockwise towards follow. Please note that this knob must be adjusted by feel on board. Rarely is best performance achieved by turning this knob fully counterclockwise, even in pure beam seas, or fully clockwise, even in pure following seas. With these three knobs, the operator is able to adjust the settings of the controller underway. While the vessel is at rest, the zero speed standard and modulated modes are available. To engage the stabilizers in zero speed standard mode, press the zero speed standard button. While in this mode, two of the knobs in the upper portion of the control become available. Proper setting of each knob is critical to good stabilizer performance. The fin angle deflection knob adjusts how far the fins will deflect to counter roll. When set fully counterclockwise, the fins won't move. When set fully clockwise, the fins will deflect at the maximum permitted deflection. Fin response is directly controlled by this knob setting and is not proportional to the actual vessel roll. Because seas often do not cause the same vessel roll with each wave encountered, it is very common for operators to set this knob to account for the larger roll motions, and as a result the fins may overreact to smaller vessel rolls. To avoid the overreaction, the threshold knob sets the vessel roll angle to which the fins will respond. At fully counterclockwise, the fins will respond to vessel roll motions in excess of 0.2 degrees. At fully clockwise, the fins will respond to vessel roll motions in excess of 1 degree. The standard mode can be tricky to set and may require frequent setting readjustment. Thus, Quantum recommends the more advanced zero speed modulated mode, which eliminates the need for the threshold knob by providing fin activity proportional to measured roll motions. To engage the stabilizers in modulated mode, simply press the zero speed modulated button. 
In the modulated mode, the control reads the roll position and velocity from the roll sensor, and together with recent roll history, determines the optimal fin activity to reduce vessel roll. Overall stabilizer system sensitivity is adjustable via the fin angle deflection knob. With this knob fully counterclockwise, allowed fin deflection is minimized and the stabilizers will do nothing. As the knob is turned clockwise, the allowed fin deflection will increase. If stabilizer performance is less than desired, turn the knob clockwise. Turn the knob counterclockwise if the stabilizers are overcompensating and causing a jittery roll motion on board. For most situations, the modulated mode will yield the best zero speed performance. Regardless of the mode the control is operated in, it is essential that the stabilizer system is engaged in the center mode for reversing operations, scenarios where slamming may occur, and during maneuvering. This requirement is for the safety of the equipment. In reversing situations, because the stabilizer fins have a larger area aft of the shaft, the danger exists that water flow backwards over the fins will force them to their maximum deflection, possibly causing equipment damage. This danger is minimized while the stabilizers are in their center mode. For vessels with high reversing speeds, above five knots or so, Quantum also recommends engaging the centering mechanism on the stabilizer hull units as an additional precaution. In heavy seas, if the stabilizer fins are located such that they may be exposed to slamming loads, Quantum recommends the stabilizer controller be left on and in the center mode with the centering mechanism on the stabilizer hull units not engaged. This will maintain the fins in the center position to minimize loading on the units, but will allow them to deflect in case slamming occurs. In these situations, it is recommended to reduce speed and change course to avoid damage to the stabilizer units. To protect the equipment from damage, the ARC-3001 will remain in the center mode during maneuvering operations, during which time it will not be possible to select any operating mode. If the stabilizer controller is in an operating mode when maneuvering begins, the controller will automatically engage the center mode. Once maneuvering is complete, it will be possible to reselect the desired mode. The controller engages center mode for maneuvering if either main engine is in reverse, and for dynamic positioning systems, the center mode is engaged when speed through the water reads more than three knots astern. To protect the system from inappropriate hydrodynamic conditions on the stabilizer fins, the controller automatically engages the center mode if propulsion conditions are not appropriate for the selected mode. As long as one main engine remains in forward, or for dynamic positioning systems, vessel speed through the water is three knots ahead or greater, the operator can freely select any of the underway stabilization modes, manual, auto, or center. If neither engine is in forward, the vessel is no longer considered underway and the underway stabilization modes may not be selected. If an underway stabilization mode is active when underway operations cease, the control will automatically engage the center mode. Conversely, as long as both engines remain in neutral, or for dynamic positioning systems, as long as the vessel speed through the water is less than three knots ahead or astern, the vessel is considered at rest and the operator can freely select any of the zero speed modes, standard, modulated, or center. If the vessel is engaged in forward or reverse, the zero speed modes may not be selected. If a zero speed mode is active when the vessel shifts into forward or reverse, the control will automatically engage the center mode. To shut down the stabilizer system, press the O button on the ARC-3000 control. The control will enter shutdown mode, which takes about three seconds. Then all the lights on the control will go out, indicating the system is shut down. Thank you for watching.